Alexander Ahmed, welcome to another Design Spark unboxing video. A few months ago, we reviewed RA6 family of MCUs from Renesas Electronics, and more specifically, RA6 M3G graphics evaluation kit. Well, last month, Renesas has launched a new addition to this family, which is RA6 M4 MCUs, and its corresponding EKRA6 M4 evaluation kit, which actually going to be a focus of today's video. RA6 M4 MCUs are best suited for applications that require high-speed connectivity and security which basically covers applications such as industrial applications, enhanced security, and building automation. In this video, I'll walk you through the main components of EKRA6 M4 Evaluation Kit, but we will actually have a guest uh, on this video today from Renesas, who will walk you through the main details, main benefits of this board, as well as the ways you can get started with it. So if this sounds like something you'll be interested in, then keep watching. When you open the box, you'll find the EKRA6M4 board, micro USB host and device cables, as well as Ethernet patch cable. The EKRA6M4 board features three separate sections. In MCU native pin access area, you'll find ARM Cortex M33 core RA6M4 MCU with operating speed of 200 MHz. 1 megabyte of flash and 256 kilobyte of SRAM. The MCU comes in 144-pin LQFP package. You will be able to access all RA6 M4 MCU interface signals and power ports through four 40-pin mail headers, which is particularly useful if you want to prototype and test custom circuitry with this MCU. Several card measurement points, as well as multiple clock sources, are also available in this section of the board. The second area is called Special Feature Access Area, which features Ethernet receiver and the corresponding RJ45 standard Ethernet connector, as well as 32MB Quad SPI and 64MB Octo SPI flash uh, for um, expansion options, for memory expansion options. And finally, we reach to the last section, which is called System Control and the Ecosystem Access Area. And it is similar across all RA kits, which is very useful for designers who can reuse their knowledge and experience with these um, RA boards. When it comes to powering your board, you have multiple options. The first one is being to use full speed USB connector. But alternatively, you could use the debug USB connector to supply 5 volts um, to your board. Um, as well as, there are two test points that you can use for powering. And there is an onboard LDO to convert 5 volts to 3.3 volts that is necessary to power MCUs and other peripherals. Similarly, you'll find multiple debugging options that are available on this board including the use of a debug USB connector that I mentioned previously. And lastly, the board supports five most popular ecosystem expansion options, including um, SeedGrove connector, Microelectronics Microbus connector, SparkFun's Quick connector, DigiLens P mode connector, as well as Arduino Uno R3 compatible connectors. With so many development kits available in the market, you might be wondering what differentiates EKRA6M4 kit from others. To help to answer that question, we invited product manager from Rainsas Advanced MCU Group, Ashish Ahuja. Hi Ashish, thanks for being on our channel. Hi Camilla, thank you for having me. Nice to see oh, you. You're welcome. The design engineers in DesignSpark community are curious about the key features that differentiate EKRA6M4 kit from its competitors. Okay, so EKRA6M4 kit features the flagship device from the RA6M4 family, which is a superset device, so it features the largest memory density as well as the largest pin count for GPIOs. It has advanced security and integrated high speed connectivity that allows engineers to create a large number of compelling IoT and security applications. 
The kit also features advanced debugging modes that allows engineers to be able to debug effortlessly complex applications. And uh, also there is high-speed connectivity features such as Ethernet, OctoSpy, QuadSpy, and USB that provides connectivity to a lot of uh, modern and cutting edge applications. Not just that, uh, the developers and engineers can also expand the functionality of the kit by connecting a large number of third-party add-ons from very popular ecosystems. That's great. Um, so if someone wants to buy this kit straight away after watching these videos, where should they go? What resources are available for them? Well, uh, you know, we have tried to make the getting started as easy and as effortless as possible. So it's a three-step journey. Step one is to get acquainted with the hardware of the kit. Step two is to get acquainted with the software that comes with the kit. And step three is to utilize the building blocks to build more advanced and complex applications. So in the first step, we go to the kit website. We download the quick start guide, the user manual, design package that includes schematics and so on. And we understand the capabilities and peripherals available on the kit. Once that is done, we move to step two. Uh, we provide the flexible software package, which is a suite of drivers, middleware, RTOS and stacks and eSquare Studio, which is our IDE. And we use these two to create software examples and build them, debug the code, program it to the kit and so on. And once that is done, we go to step three, which is we utilize a large repository of existing example code. These can be used as building blocks for more complex and sophisticated applications. So this is uh, step one, two and three for uh, making it easy to work with the kit and get started. That's great. Um, very exciting product indeed. Thanks for being here and sharing your insight on this kit. Thank you. Thanks, Camilla. Thanks for having me. It's nice to reconnect with you. All the very best. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you have more questions on RA6M4 family or about this specific kit, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Science Park channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.